Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new Fortnite Creative Tutorial. I hope you guys have had a chance to play some Prop Hunt, and if you want to try to make your own Prop Hunt map, I got some good news for you, because today we're going to go over the basic mechanics to set up a Prop Hunt spawn, and then switch it up a little bit to a more advanced mechanic that works better when aiming at setting up a map to make a YouTube video, or if you have some other creative stuff planned like a music track, or a countdown, or anything you guys can imagine, that happens while the hiders get some time to go and hide. Okay, so first of all, we'll start with the easy mechanics and basics of a prop hunt map. The first thing you'll want to do is set up your seeker's spawn area. So make sure it's completely boxed off and closed. Then place at least one spawn pet for every seeker that all have the same following options. Team to one, and make sure it is set as island start. Next up, we'll place all other spawn pads in the hiding area outside of the Seeker's starting box and set their team to Team 2. We'll make three different mechanics, the first one being the very basic exploding wall one, followed by a block barrier mechanism, followed by a trigger based barrier mechanism. Back in the box, pick the wall you want to open up and let's grab an explosive device from the devices gallery. Throw it down and move it so that it's just in front of the wall. Now configure it because we have quite some options to change. First of all, change the player damage to zero and change the structure damage to the amount of health the wall has. In most cases, 150 is enough, but you might have to bump it up a little. But you'll see this as you go. Make sure that the damage indestructible buildings is on, especially if you have environment damage in the island game settings set to off. Change the health to indestructible or otherwise the seeker can just destroy it whenever he wants to. And then lastly, set the blast radius to 0.25. I prefer to set the knockback to off, as the push is not really important in prop hunt, but you can change it as you want. And then set the time to detonation from game start to the time you want to give the hiders. The longer you put this, the longer they have to hide. If you would start the game now, you would see that the seeker is stuck in the room until the timer runs out, and then the exploding device opens the wall, and off he is. Next up, we're cleaning this up a little bit. Start with the same box and spawn pad setup we had before. But this time, delete the wall you want to eventually open, and instead, place a floor with a barrier just in front of it. This works particularly well when the starting zone from the Seekers is fully decorated, like a house, for example. Change the barrier visibility in-game to something that works for the design of your map. In this house example, I found that solid one blends in perfectly in many situations. Set the enabled option to enabled and put the disable when receiving from to a free channel, which in prop hunt map is probably channel one. Now fly off to a place that is outside of your map and add a music sequencer here. We can hide this mechanism, the player doesn't need to see it, so just move it somewhere out of the way. You can pretty much leave all the options as is except for the active on game phase and set this to game start. Now throw down a trigger right in the music sequencer and set it to transmit on channel 1 when triggered. Lastly, set the delay to the time you want the hiders to have to find a good hiding spot. So what will happen when the game starts? Very easy. This music sequencer automatically starts and activates the trigger. But because of the delay option, it won't actually transmit the channel for X amount of time. So as soon as it does, the barrier goes down. The predator can hunt for prey. <clears throat> you can use the same mu whoops. <clears throat> you can use the same music sequencer as well to add some waiting music for your map. It actually helps the hiders a little bit if they want to hide close to the seeker spawn area, as it will hide the sound of their footsteps. Although the ping will give it away pretty fast. Now, lastly, I'll show you how to change this scenario even a little bit more to be more useful if you want the Seeker to be in control of when the game starts, mainly aimed at making videos and or cleanup. What we'll have to do for this is start from the scenario we just made, but go to your trigger that disables the barrier and remove the delay. The reason we need to do this is because of a Fortnite bug that if you just disable a barrier, it actually stays visible, but it allows you to walk through it. So this way we auto-disable it when the game starts and the seeker can roam around and look at the map. Now add a new music sequencer that starts when receiving from channel 2. Go to your seeker's spawn area and throw a new trigger down there. 
This will be the trigger that starts the game and blocks the seeker in his box. Set it to triggered by damage on and player off. And transmit on channel 2. Now go back to the new music sequencer and throw two new triggers in it. The first one will be to re-enable the barrier to block the seeker off in a spawn area again. So all we have to do is set the when triggered transmit on to channel 3, which will be our new enabled channel that we didn't need before. Don't forget to also bind this on your barrier. So fly over to it and set the enabled when receiving from to channel 3. Now on the second trigger you threw down in your music sequencer, we will disable the barrier again. So set the delay to the time you want to give the hiders and transmit it to channel 1, which will disable the barrier. Lastly, we need to get the hiders safe when the game is not started yet, or the seeker could just instantly go and kill them. So set up a hover platform above your map, add a vertical wall to it, and build a big platform on it. Make sure it's at least 4x4, so that you have enough space for all the hider spawns. And add walls around it so that the hiders can't get out. So create spawn pads on all floors, and lastly, throw down an explosive device on the hoverboard. Remove player damage, set damage to indestructible buildings to on, knock back to off, and change the explode when receiving from to channel 2. So when the seeker hits the trigger, it will destroy this whole platform, making all the hiders fall down, and at the same time, blocking himself in the spawn area for the X amount of time that we set. When this delay timer is up, the barrier in front of the seeker will be disabled and it's hunting time. And that's pretty much it guys, now go out there and play with it. If you want to create a countdown, you can throw a third music sequencer in the mix. Just change the channel of the current disabled trigger to a different one. Bind the third music sequencer to your new channel and in it, throw down some music blocks to create a countdown. and a trigger behind it that transmits on channel 1 to let the seekers out. And lastly, you might have to play around with the speed a little bit to find the perfect countdown speed. Don't forget to create team settings and inventory block to set up everything item-wise, and you're good to go. Good luck! Good hunting and good propping. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment below. I have an awesome new map trailer coming to you guys soon. It will be one of the craziest things you will have ever seen. And I can't wait for you guys to play it. In the description below, you can find the map code for my own prop hunt hide and snitch. So go check it out. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell, and I'll see you guys soon.